given the freedom that most children I was given the freedom that most children would have dreamed of. Losing you at such a young age isn't something that I was ever prepared for. But at the same time, it teaches me to value life as much as I can, I can because you never know what could happen. You were known as a cool mom by many of my friends and you would often call yourself the cool mom and it's true. You were the coolest mom I could ever ask for. The most important quality she possessed was her ability to encourage me to make the most of everything and to face problems head on. The woman was a proud woman who believed that there were no obstacles too great to overcome. I have always relied on my mother for support, strength and comfort during times of difficulty. It leaves a huge void in my life that I am not sure how I will cope without her. I will miss our little random conversations. I will miss calling you during my breaks at work and I will miss seeing you walk in at the end of the day. She had a magical way of bringing joy to every room in which she entered. It is impossible to forget her smile once you have met her. In addition, I will never forget the advice she provided and the lessons she taught me. I will forever be guided by her wisdom in making decisions throughout the rest of my life. Mum, I will miss you more than anything in the world. Having you in my life was the greatest 25 years of my life. Thank you for all the lessons and advice you taught me over the years. I promise you that I will look after myself and I promise that I will look after Marco. I find peace knowing that you are up there resting with Uncle Dennis. I love you so much. Rest in peace, Mummy. Dear guests, as we celebrate Christine's life achievements, we get a glimpse of the person we all loved. Whether it be her work colleagues, her uni pals, children, grandchildren, or her lifelong friends she made along the way. Christine never had a bad word to say about anyone. A never give up attitude, never complained. There's something special about Christine. The attributes she displayed were infectious, coupled with a beautiful smile, and, an appreciate, uh, and appreciated a good laugh. The memories we have will last forever. Thank you. Trusting in God, we pray together for Christine. And now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see Christine again and enjoy her friendship. Though this gathering will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. We say together a quite ancient hymn called the Song of Farewell. The response each time is, Saints of God come to her aid, hasten to meet her angels of the Lord. Would you like to say that? Saints of God come to her aid, angels see the angels of the Lord. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Saints of God come to her aid, hasten to meet her angels of the Lord. May Christ who called you take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Saints of God, come to her aid. Send to meet her angels of the Lord. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. Saints of God, come to her aid. Hasten to meet her angels of the Lord. We now say the prayer of commendation. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our sister Christine in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Christine in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness of an our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant 
and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith. Until we all meet in Christ and are with you and our sister forever. Amen. Now we come to a thing known as the prayer of committal in which the casket is lowered. And I think the family have some flowers they'd like to place on top of the casket. So we'll do that. Just about the whole Okay, so if you'd like to place a flower on top of the casket, would you like to do so now? Anyone else who'd like to place a flower? There's plenty of flowers here. Okay, so anyone who'd like to place a flower? Okay, just come across and place a flower on top of the casket. There we go, sorry mate. Yeah, as it's been lowered. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, okay. What happens is I say, after this, I just say, If you just like to place, there's still flowers left, place a flower on the casket, okay? I say a particular prayer of committal and um, during that we begin to lower it and then as soon as I finish the prayer there's a hymn that you'd like to sing. Okay. Thank you. Because the Lord has chosen to call our sister Christine from this life to himself, we commit her body to the earth. For we are dust, and unto dust we shall return. Would you like to start now? Thank you. But the Lord Jesus Christ will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory. For he is risen, the firstborn from the dead. So let us commend our sister to the Lord, that she may embrace, that the Lord may embrace her in peace, and raise up her body on the last day. Just give this to the woman. Toga mo herega, 
ガヤロコイガーエーガヤロコイガーアロコイガーナイメレアマツイネーガヤロコイガーエーガヤロコイガーアロコイガーナイメレアマツイネー There's just another hymn on the display. It's, you have the words in the booklet.
Now we come to the concluding part of this service here um, with the concluding prayer and some prayers of blessing. God of holiness and power, accept our prayers on behalf of your servant Christine. Do not count her deeds against her, for in her heart she desired to do your will. As her faith united her to your people on earth, so may your mercy join her to the angels in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. Amen. May her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. May the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. I'd like to thank everybody for gathering here to uh, participate in this service on behalf of Christine. I'm sure the family is extremely grateful for you being here. And of course, they're all inviting you over to the golf club at Stonecutters Ridge at the end of this. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. And uh, though we disperse in sorrow, we disperse in peace and hope. Okay? Thank you, everyone. God bless. sprinkle some sand into the grave you're most welcome